and many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Renault review with me, Alvis. Uh, I've got here another beer uh, from the supermarket. I bought £1.50 a bottle, you can't go wrong with that. Um, I don't drink enough supermarket beer. Well, I don't drink enough supermarket I don't drink a lot of supermarket beers. I tend to try and buy from local um, shops uh, and local places more, try and keep uh, local business going. But it's from the Caledonian Brewery in Edinburgh. Sorry, I had to check there. It's got their Flying Scotsman, um, Edinburgh to London, Premium Bitter, officially licensed Flying Scotsman beer. Um, old train, steam train, I think it's Flying Scotsman if you're not familiar with it. Um, trying to let you read what's on the back there, if it ever zooms in. One day it might. It doesn't tend to look close up to this camera. Hopefully you've got that. If not, Never mind, I might read it out later. 500ml um, brown bottle, I believe it's 4% ABV. 4% ABV. Plain gold crown on it. Yeah, I've just done the Castle Rocks, um, Castle Rock Brewery's uh, Harvest Pell, which wasn't too bad. But £1.50 a bottle, um, I don't think it's a bad price for a beer, really. I'm not expecting anything amazing out of it, but you never know. Well, it certainly looks like a nice bitter. Got that sort of mahogany colour <coughs> to it. Once again, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Um, once again, really clear, filtered, like most supermarket beers are. They don't, they don't trust. I, I don't think they trust people to know how to deal with um, bottle-conditioned beers or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, quite clear. A little bit of carbonation in there. One finger newspaper coloured head. Those are different bowls. Let's get a nose in. Oh, now. Hmm, it's my hand. My hand stinks. Now that's got that really earthy fuggles note to it, and I love fuggles in, in a beer. Lovely, earthy. Beautiful. I love that smell. It is a slight. There is a slight bit of metallic, sort of a copper. If you get like copper on plant, but I mean you, you, copper pipe smell, sort of metallic. Um, like slight sweet zestiness in there as well. Sweet orange. Smells fantastic. This does smell like it's going to be a really good beer, actually. So I'm going to dig in. Cheers, everyone. That's a beaut. That is absolutely gorgeous. It's got cut in a kind of a caramel background to it. You're getting that nice earthiness to it as well. But along with that sweet caramel, very pleasant aftertaste to it. It's not. It's not hugely exciting, but it's just a very, very pleasant, sectionable flavour. I could happily drink four or five of those in a night, perhaps even pushing a sixth. Four percent is a magical session beer. I'd love to go to Edinburgh and try this on cast. The thing with some of these supermarket beers, I find there's not a lot that'll knock your socks off, but there's a lot of decent session beers in the supermarket. This being one of them, I'm definitely going to buy this again. Um, introducing, introducing Caledonian Flying Scotsman Premium Bitter, which has been specially brewed to celebrate the return of the world's most famous locomotive after a major restoration program at the National Railway Museum in York. Salute the loco with a glass of this superb beer, the finest barley from the north and robust southern hops combined to produce a full flavoured beer. Look for a raisin-like spiciness and a superb toasty dryness. Didn't get any of that. Caledonian Flying Scotsman, first class refreshment from Edinburgh to London and beyond. www.caledonianbeer.com in Edinburgh. Really good beer. Um, I like the sort of train picture on the front as well there. The, obviously the 
Flying Scotsman train. Um, I love it. It's just a really nice, really good session beer. Yeah, great, great little session beer. Um, like I say, it's not, it's not going to blow you away, um, but it's well worth a try. And like I say, if you want to get for one pound fifty in Morrison's at the moment, if you want to fire a few of them in, whack them in, in in your beer wherever you keep your beer or whatever, and you know, perfect for a, for a night, few few on night. Brilliant. Anyway, um, thanks so much for watching. No, I haven't given no racing yet. What am I doing? Um, I think I'm going to give this a seven out of ten. Like I say, it's nothing nothing um, groundbreaking, but. Um, I'll be buying it again. Um, thanks for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box and hopefully join me again soon for another review. Cheers everyone.